Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, your local bedhead here. We are going to be diving into a video that I'm pretty passionate about. I have been a Friday the 13th fan ever since I was about 4 or 5 years old when I first saw Friday the 13th Part 3 on television. It was one of my favorite movies then, and it still is today. I mean, this franchise is my favorite franchise of all time, so when I found out they were making a Crystal Lake series, I was pretty excited, though I didn't think it was necessary to make a Crystal Lake series. It was at least something moving forward. We were actually getting back into the Friday the 13th property which I'm excited for and I know there's a lot of people out there who really want this franchise to die but I say to you no I say I want more uh, if we can get more Halloween movies we should be able to get more Friday the 13th stuff and I just find the camp setting a lot more creepy and cool than I do uh, a typical suburban town so in my personal opinion I am deadly excited for Friday the 13th and I was even very sad when Friday the 13th the game was canceled and uh, taken out so, and, and then we're getting a new one, so I'm very excited about that, but I was very sad when that 2017 game was uh, completely done. But we're going to read from Bloody Disgusting on why the Crystal Lake series is not officially done. It's just having its plug pulled because the creators just don't know what to do with it. Now, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant, okay? I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant and explain to you why this is not as difficult as I think they're making it out to be. I think they're probably trying to do a little too much with this series. The thing about Friday the 13th is that it is repetitive in a lot of ways, especially from the first film all the way up to about the sixth movie. Let's try to exclude, you know, part five. Uh, but tr going, you know, back to that, it is a typical kind of just bring in some teens and get them killed by Jason. That is basically it. That takes place in a camp setting. That's all it is. There's nothing special about it. And, and it works. It has a level of charm to it. It's fun. And that's what we're looking for. We're not needing, you know, some Oscar contending. We don't need, you know, complicated shit thrown into Friday the 13th. We just don't need it. Would it be nice to get some really likable characters? Of course it would. I mean, Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, is my f personal favorite. And I think it has some of the most memorable characters. Yeah, bring in some memorable characters, but we don't need something so complicated that it's almost difficult to put on the screen. Especially for a series, which nobody was really asking for. I, d I can't recall one person asking for a Friday the 13th TV series. There was that Friday the 13th TV series that came back, like, back in the day, out back in the day, but it really had nothing to do with Jason at all, so it really wasn't even Friday the 13th related, but this we were not really even asking for. We just wanted more movies, and and of course, you know, with the whole bullshit that was going on in court, right, the legal issues, and how we're still facing those legal issues today, you know, people are really kind of scared on what they can do and what they can't do, which I think is ridiculous, these I, I'm not. I'm almost so pissed off to even talk about the creators of Friday the 13th anymore because it just gets me boiled up. It's like, why can't we just like get along and make the fucking shit we want to see instead of bitching your entire lives? Sorry, I, I'm just. I'm so fed up with it. I really am. So we're gonna re we're gonna read the bloody disgusting thing because I trust bloody disgusting. I always go to them, and I for sure already knew that this was not them canceling the Crystal Lake series. This is just not knowing what to do with it, so they're pulling the plug on it. And they've been filming this for how long now? So I'm not sure what they're going to do with all the stuff they have worked on, but can you believe it's now been 15 years since we last saw Jason Voorhees on screen? Uh, in the wake of several years worth legal troubles, the Voorhees family was finally set to return in a new Friday the 13th television series from A24, Peacock, and Brian Fuller, the guy who made Hannibal, titled Crystal Lake. But a report this week has cast doubt on the show happening at all. So yeah, basically what people were saying is that A24 decided to... Uh, pull the plug on this thing even though we have to go ahead and tell people that that is not necessarily what is happening here they're putting a giant halt on production and whatever they plan on doing because they just don't know where to take it jeff schneider reported in his newsletter the in schneider late last night that a24 has pulled the plug on the crystal lake series which was due to begin filming sometime this year okay so they have not started filming my apologies i just figured they had started filming by now because it's been in talks for so long schneider writes in the last night's exclusive report it's unclear whether this is permanent decision or a temporary one as a24 has no comment uh, perhaps peacock will help the trades shed more light on this project which has announced back which was announced back in 2022 so this has been basically in the talks for two years now crazy and we're we were just now getting ready to start filming crazy that we're actually now putting a halt to it according to bloody disgusting sources a24 has not killed off crystal lake at this time we yeah they'd be, they'd be stupid too 
I, I don't mean to turn into Porky Pig right there, but they'd be stupid to. I mean, Friday the 13th is one of the most profitable franchises of all time, uh, right next to Halloween. I mean, yeah, you have such – you have gold right in your hands. Why would you want to get rid of it, you know? Uh, at this time, we have confirmed the show is still happening, but there is indeed some retooling at the project happening beh uh, behind the scenes. We're digging for more info. Stay tuned. So it seems like they might not have been agreeing, I guess. Maybe this was like some sort of disagreement on set. Maybe they saw the script and were like, you know what? We're not really feeling it, and we just prefer something else instead of this. And unfortunately, like there are some times where the studios should definitely step in and like try to fix some problems. Absolutely. But there are also times where you're like, I really wish the studio wouldn't step in as much as they want to because, again, that might put a a bad taste or a bad spin on what could have been obviously gold. I mean, it's happened so many times now. And, and unfortunately, Friday the 13th is no stranger to having studios and executives and people walking on in onto their set and really watering down and taking out a lot of stuff that probably would have made the movies a lot better. Um, unfortunately, Friday the 13th is like one of the biggest franchises to have to deal with that just studio involvement. Uh, it's unfortunate, too, because, yeah, we would probably have had an amazing Friday the 13th Part 7 if the studio had not come in and done what it did. Peacock had given the project a straight-to-series order in 2022, with Crystal Lake being described as an expanded prequel to the original Friday the 13th franchise, featuring both Jason Voorhees and his mother Pamela Voorhees' original. Friday the 13th final girl Adrian King had even signed on for a recurring, uh, for a recurring role on the Plan A24 television series. Brian Fuller was to serve as writer, showrunner, and executive producer with Victor Miller, who penned the original classic producing with Mark Tober, uh, Toberoff, Rob Bar Barsimian, and A24. Uh, Kevin Williamson, Scream, was on board to write uh, an episode last we heard. Brian Fuller, the guy who wrote Hannibal. See what else he's written. Star Trek Discovery, Hannibal, Mockingbird Lane. Yeah, they had Adrian King coming back to do this. Going back to my thoughts earlier, nobody was wanting a Crystal Lake series. Nobody was asking for it. Not really anybody. Um, now, obviously, there are people out there who were probably very excited for this. I was excited for this because I'm anything Friday the 13th, of course. But just give us the movies. Just go back to the classic. Kids go to camp. Jason comes out, starts hacking people to death. That is what everybody wanted to see. We don't need a complicated television series to re-thrive or bring back that feeling that we used to have when watching those classic movies. The remake of Friday the 13th, the first time I watched it, I was not a fan of it. The more I watched it, the more I started to appreciate it a lot more. Uh, and, and I'm not saying we should go back to the 2009 remake. In my personal opinion, it's still not even close to the best Friday the 13th film. However, I do think that if you do go back to that original franchise and make a direct sequel to, let's say, Part 4 or something, which I would love... I would be so much more down for that than a Crystal Lake series. And I still know that I, I think they are trying to make Friday the 13th movies. I think we'll see, I guess. But guys, it's not been officially like canceled. I know a lot of people are sitting here thinking that all oh, Friday the 13th Crystal Lake is canceled. No, it's not completely done. It's not out of the works yet. It's just they really were not, I think, liking what they were seeing. So they want to take more time to try to come up with something better. Um, is this bad? Does this look bad? Yeah, it does look bad because how many ideas can you have for a Crystal Lake series? I don't know. I mean, it's just a bunch of campers going to camp and then crazy shit pursues. That's basically what it's going to be. And, and you can make that work for sure. But it is a 24. And A24 know how to kick out some pretty amazing shit. So if they got involved with the production and maybe what they wanted to do and maybe if they saw something in the script they didn't like, I actually do trust A24 quite a bit because I know for a fact they are not going to hold off on the things that we're really wanting to see. I think they're probably just trying to step in with the story. And if that's the case, then this could be a good thing. But if that's not the case, this could be overall just a, a bad thing. It, it, look, take as much time as you need to come up with something amazing. You have better ideas than what you were about to bring us, then by all means, continue to stick with your guns. Go for it. Take the time you need. Don't worry about what people say and just get something great out. We can wait. Okay, a week and wait. It did not have to come out as soon as possible. But that's pretty much all I have to say. Guys, it's not canceled. It's just on hold right now. So before you freak out in the comment section saying, hey, Crystal Lake is canceled. Oh my God, it's not happening no more. That's not the case. That's just, it's just not. Um, it looks like some wording was done that made it come off that way. But A24 has already said that we're not stopping this. And again, they would be stupid to. It's Friday the 13th. You got something big here. Don't fuck it up. 
and A24 is, again, a studio that I just do not see fucking this up. So those are my thoughts, guys. Please leave your comments down in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of this? And I'll see you in the next one. Do take care. Cut sucks.